you may or may not have come to the realization that those $10 speakers aren't cutting it. Don't worry, you aren't alone. I myself avoided using my speakers for as long as possible, only using my headphones for the music pleasures. But I found a nice inexpensive pair of bookshelf speakers, the Edifier R980T. I would actually say the build quality is pretty good. It's made of 100% fiberboard wood, which means it's made of wood. It's painted black and that's the only color that it comes in, but it should be okay because black is a neutral color, so it should work with most setups. I personally use it only for my computer. I didn't use it for like a TV or a home studio type this thing, just for gaming and media consumption pretty much. It has a four inch bass driver and a half inch tweeter. I'll go into more details about those and it looks pretty good overall. It's aesthetically a pleasing, uh, symmetrical, clean. There's nothing really bad to say about the build quality. On the back side, you'll find two inputs, one for the computer and one for an auxiliary input, like a TV and such. And you'll also find the control knobs, one for the volume and one for the bass. And I find that the placement of these knobs are kind of bad, but it gives the uh, speakers a more stealthy look. The bass, I want to adjust it if I'm listening to music and such like that. I want to turn up the bass, obviously. If I'm like, editing videos or listening to music in my free time that's not bass heavy, I want to turn down the bass so it doesn't get all bassy. <laughs> These are active speakers, so you don't need an amplifier or anything to actually use it. You just need a socket to plug it into the wall and you're ready to go. These aren't the newest speakers. They came out a few years ago, 2014 if I'm not mistaken and it uses 2.0 speaker technology. Not 2.0 Bluetooth, it has no Bluetooth functionality, just 2.0 speakers. The speaker number refers to the number of surroundness you have. Two is the lowest, which means you only have two in front, one on the right and one on the left. Uh, three adds one in the front, one in the left and one in the right. Four adds two in the front and two in the back. Five adds one in the middle front two in the front and two in the back, six surrounds you and seven surrounds you even more with one specifically in the back and one specifically in the front. I wouldn't use these for gaming. That's what 7.1 headphones are for or 7.0 headphones. And the 0.1 added just means that it has a subwoofer for a better bass. Since these don't have a subwoofer, it means that it shouldn't have good bass, but it does have good bass. I actually like these in terms of bassness. It gives it like a depth effect, like you're in a movie or a cinema. It sounds really awesome. And you're like, you're involved inside whatever you're listening to. So here's a quick comparison of the two speakers. I have here the Logitech speakers that are $10. And I have these Edifier speakers that I'm reviewing right now that cost about $70. <coughs> quality of these speakers are crystal clear and their bass is rich and heavy. I experience no distortion even at the higher volumes and I experience no fuzziness from the power even at lower volumes. It's really good at replicating a depth effect so you can tell when something's farther away or something's closer and the one thing I hate about the volume was that it changed when it comes to different sources. So if I'm on SoundCloud it's a little bit quieter but if I'm on like the actual computer I think it's called Groove Music on PC Windows it gets really loud and it's kind of awkward. You have to keep on adjusting the volume knob on your computer. So 40 volume isn't always the same all around. Overall, they sound good, they look good, and they're built good. It's just really great all around. Secondly, I don't really like that the controls are on the backside. It's kind of tedious to keep on changing the volume controls, but I can easily look over that. And three, I would only use these for like media consumption if I want to edit a video or I'm listening to a YouTube video. 
I wouldn't use these for gaming. I would stick to headphones when they actually have 7.0 technology for surround sound experience. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to stick around, watch a few of my old videos, or if you want to see some of my newer videos, subscribe to my channel and you'll see some of those. Uh, comment down below what kind of speakers you use. I'm just curious to figure it out and get some interaction between us. Anyway, I'm Joe on HD. Thank you guys for watching. More videos are coming soon. And as always, goodbye.